A lot of you guys have been asking me for fresh meat and if the meat at Frankie's Free Range Meat has ever been frozen. Uh, so we decided to actually purchase two cows this week and get you guys the fresh meat you have been asking for. And some of you may be wondering, what is the difference between fresh and frozen meat? And the primary thing is the flavor difference. When you have a very fresh piece of meat, it's actually very mild in flavor. It has much less flavor than aged beef. Usually they age the carcass for two, three, even four weeks. That helps dry it out, develop some flavor. And when you don't do that, uh, the meat is really less flavorful. Uh, this does have some benefits. Some people have a histamine intolerance. Uh, they cannot eat aged meat. I personally have a histamine intolerance. So for me, uh, the fresh meat is kind of necessary to some degree. And if you guys have never really experienced eating fresh meat, I mean, I encourage you to do so. Uh, as a raw dieter, I don't really enjoy the fresh meat as much as I do the aged meat. Uh, but it's definitely uh, something worth trying. And if you guys do actually want to know, is there a nutrient difference? Is there you know, some sort of bacterial difference? If you freeze meat for like two, three, four months, it does start to lose some of the vitamins in it. But if you just freeze the meat for a week or two or three, even a month, you're not really losing any vitamins in the meat. The problem is when the meat sits in a freezer uh, for a very long period of time and it starts oxidizing. Uh, but let me show you guys what we have to offer you for this week. So here we have a 20 pound beef box, all fresh meat. Uh, this was literally slaughtered three days ago. And by the time you guys get it, it will be approximately one week old. And you might think, Frank, that meat is one week old. Yes, but the meat in your supermarket is typically six, seven, eight weeks old. So this meat will be far fresher than any meat you've ever tasted before. And it usually takes about two or three weeks for the meat to develop any significant flavor. So and you guys will probably be finished eating this by the time it even starts tasting anything like what you're remotely familiar with. So uh, we're going to be offering some rib cuts in the boxes. We'll have some roasts as well as some more tender loin cuts. As you guys can see, uh, this is definitely a leaner cow. And each animal is different. You know, some animals are fattier than others, depending on the breed, depending on the quality of pasture. Uh, in this case, I encourage you guys, you know, if you have some raw butter, if you have some raw fat on the side, uh, you might want to supplement with that. Uh, but we are also adding ground beef to the box, uh, which does have a fair bit of fat ground into it. So if you guys are interested in our 20 pound fresh beef box, this is approximately what you will be getting. 20 pounds of meat that is as fresh as possible. About half of it is ground beef, and the other half is assorted roast as well as tender loin cuts. We have about 20 of these boxes available. I am anticipating they will sell out incredibly quickly, and depending on the demand, hey, this is something that we'll probably start doing on a monthly basis, and we might even start selling a large portion of our meat fresh only if we can. The nice thing about fresh meat that's been slaughtered so recently is that it stays good for such a long period of time. You know, if you get this meat, it will stay good in your fridge for probably up to a month. Uh, we will be getting uh, some organs in on Wednesday, so we will likely be throwing uh, some organs in some of these boxes here and there. Uh, but by no means is it going to be like an even distribution. Maybe a little bit of liver here and there, uh, maybe a little bit of kidney here and there. The price on the box is going to be $220 for over 20 pounds of fresh meat shipped straight to your door. So go to frankiesfreerangemeat.com. The fresh beef box will be uh, one of the first things you guys see. Uh, we will be shipping the meat out next week. That will be Monday, July 1st. So if you guys want this meat before the 4th of July, don't count on Frankie boy, but you will definitely get it within several days of the shipping date, Monday, July 1st. Overall, the whole fresh versus frozen thing, as I said, if you have a histamine intolerance, this is really for you people. Uh, most people with a histamine intolerance are stuck buying frozen meat. And even then, they're kind of just rolling the dice with how long the meat has been frozen. Uh, but I guess I could take you guys through uh, the fridge and just show you guys what we got. Uh, the cow, unfortunately, uh, did not weigh that much. And we got two cows. Uh, so we got two cows and we only had like five, 600 pounds of meat. So uh, next time uh, we're going to be looking at some different farms 
and also seeing if we can get some fattier meat for you guys. This is just about all of the ground beef. Uh, we have some of the roast and the loin cuts here that we have to trim up. They, they came really big and we're keeping them nice and cold and then we're going to vacuum seal them into smaller bags right before we ship them out. Same thing with all of the loin cuts over here. Nice yellow fat distribution. Overall a pretty lean animal but super fresh meat. Should be really delicious when you cook it. I guess I can take you guys on a little tour of what's going on. Uh, we got some of our non-perishable products here. We got some beef jerky, uh, just some labels for anything. Some of the cod livers over here. We got our jars of beef tallow ready to go. Some vacuum seal machines. These are the coolers we are shipping in. Uh, but this is just more non perishable product. We actually have some of the panic in here. Got some steaks over here looking good. These are our chip steaks. Got my lantern over here. Down here we have some brisket, some more fatty cuts, more fatty cuts, more brisket, more steaks in here, more strip steaks. Got some rib steaks in here too. Nice shape, really thick steaks. Got some marrow bones, some more marrow bones. We got more coming in next week. Overall though, the cooler's pretty empty right now. Guys, please let us know how you like your order. If there is anything wrong, of course, feel free to reach out to info at frankiesfreerangemeat.com. Let us know what we can do. If you guys would like to see any products in the future, I know we are trying to do things like uh, raw dairy down the line. We're looking to do eggs. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for that stuff. Uh, but in the short term, uh, we're looking to get fish on the website. Uh, we just got chicken. We just got pork. Uh, slowly adding things over the next uh, few weeks. And then hopefully in a few months from now, uh, we'll be up and running. Uh, everything in the facility that we need, we will have it. And we'll be able to add a bunch of other products that we've been looking to do. And as we've kind of solidified our sources... Uh, over the next few weeks, we'll be able to get you guys an even higher quality product. Right now, I feel as if we have the best meat from a marbling standpoint, from a freshness standpoint, from an affordability standpoint. Uh, the next step for me is going to be able to ensure that people are getting an even higher quality product consistently at the same price. And th that will happen with a little bit of time and really just testing out all the sources we have access to, uh, whether it be, you know, local New York farmers, uh, Australian farmers. New We're literally trying to source quality meat from anywhere we can. Uh, the fish that we're looking to add soon, guys, is most likely going to be uh, smaller tuna, so it's low mercury. Uh, we're looking to get in some salmon, uh, some shrimp that doesn't have any additives or preservatives. Uh, we'll know that by the end of the week. Uh, definitely check out some of the videos I've done over the past few weeks. Uh, we did the chicken one last Saturday. We did the pork video the Saturday before that. And uh, as I said, guys, let us know uh, what you want us to get. Uh, the more support we get, the more orders uh, that we get over the next few weeks, few months, uh, the quicker we'll be able to do everything we want to do. Uh, if you'd like to know, hey, maybe you want to order my meat, but you're not sure where you can get raw butter or raw dairy, uh, I mean, you can check out realmilk.com. Uh, you can order some other stuff off of our website, the fat pack, the organs. Uh, all of the orders, guys, are going to be sent out over the next uh, two weeks approximately. And then the week of July 8th, we are going to catch up on all the non-perishable stuff. All the pemmican, all the jerky is going to be sent out. You guys are going to love it. Thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and share it if you can. If you guys would like to support me further, as I said, there are a bunch of other videos you can check out on the channel. Uh, FrankieStreetRangeMeat.com. Check out what we have, guys. Enjoy the rest of your week.